Go ahead. Hi, I'm Cora. That's how you're going to yep, start? Yep, that's it. No. It's <laughs> what's going on, YouTube family, Instagram family. We're the Dukes. Yes, the Dukes. And we're so glad to be here. I messed that part up. We're so glad to be here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce, not introduce, we're going to, ah, I messed that up. Okay, see, I did a lot. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're basically we're just going to go over, um, give you a quick, why am I talking so much? This is your channel. Yeah, it's my channel. But follow your boy, GQ Gemini on Instagram. Follow me. I got like 23,000 followers. She has like 360. That don't make no sense. Thousand. 360,000. 360,000. <laughs> my bad. 360,000. Okay, go ahead. Um, this is your channel. I'll shut up. So I'm Miss Cora on Instagram. I went viral for being pregnant for about 12 years. I have nine children. He's the dad. I'm the pappy. <laughs> so now, due to high demand of everybody asking me what our lives are like, yeah. We have created a YouTube channel, which we should have done about more than a decade ago. Since 2006. But but we didn't. Yeah. It is coulda, woulda, shoulda. So now we're here. Yeah. So you can get to know a little bit about us and our life. Okay. So where do we go from there? It's like, what do you want to know about us? Like so I asked a few questions over the course of a few months on my Instagram. There was a lot of questions regarding our life, how we met, how our kids are, what our groceries are like. There's a lot of various questions that we received. So we're going to answer a few of them today. Okay. So let's answer away. What's the first question? First question is usually how did we meet? Okay. See, I know how it went in my head. You go first. It's your channel. How did we meet in your head? <laughs> so how we met is in theater class. I was a sophomore in 1990. What was that? Eight? Nine? Ninety nine. In 1999. So back in the 90s. I met him in theater class. He was a cute guy that sat a few rows somewhere. He was barely in class. But, More you know. than cute. But go ahead. Go off, though big head so let's see I was the nerd I was the Indian smart straight A's all that so I didn't really pay attention to she him. really wants to keep going with this nerd narrative she was not a nerd <laughs> no she wasn't I don't even know where she gets this from you were not a nerd like, I was okay okay so tell me why was I no not no a nerd? no this no is I want to hear wait a minute wait a they minute. want to hear so tell me why was I not a nerd she was not a nerd, okay? First of all, she was driving to school in a big body Benz, okay? A white Beamer. What was it, like a 97? It's not a Beamer. My bad. I said Benz. <laughs> my bad. Mercedes. My bad. Okay? She drove to school in the Mercedes and habitual skipper. She was always going to the mall with her friends. That's not nerd activity. I mean, when that's you grow not, up with strict parents, that's not nerd you, you, activity. You find ways to get out of situations. Okay, but continue how we met. So there was a play in our class that we had to put on, Rumpelstiltskin. Go ahead. You know you want to say something. No, I didn't want to say anything. Go ahead. <laughs> he had one of the lead roles, which was father. I was just an extra. You I know, was... isn't it ironic that I got the role father? <laughs> you get it? You know, you see what I'm saying? Okay, go ahead. Go on. <laughs> so, I was just an extra. I guess he started talking to me one day, and then, let's see, he would come backstage and talk to me and hug up all on me and then go about his business. And then, eventually, he asked me to come over. I went to his house. I skipped school that day. And we talked. I went home. And then, <laughs> what? go ahead. Yes, we talked. <laughs> we did. We really did talk. We did talk. Okay, we talked. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, for real, we talked. I promise. I was a gentleman. I was. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. I saw his wall. 
he had a wall full of pictures of females. Okay, listen, I had a hierarchy of girls that I talked to, okay? Now, when she came to my room, she was at the top. The picture, her picture was at the top. Wait, that doesn't sound good at all. But either way, look, <laughs> let me, look. All right. So, let me put it to you like this. When I, okay, first day we met, I walked in the class because, let me see, I think I missed like the first... The first day. I, I missed a lot of school. But anyways, I walked into I walked into theater. Um, we had to introduce ourselves. Boom, that's nothing, you know. I'm always in front of people. You put me in front of a crowd, I'm going to make everybody laugh. So I got in front of everybody. I'm like, hey, I've, hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Dre. Uh, you can call me Andre. My parents call me David Andre. Whatever. We're from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, nice to meet you. Stuff like that, you know. So I'm checking everybody out. She's captivated with me, but I didn't really think too much of it, you know. So we met like that. Uh, fast forward. Uh, let me see. We talked a little bit in class, but honestly, you know, I really don't know what the catalyst was for us to be talking, talking. Because I think there was. I a remember one time he did come up to me in class and he pretty much cornered me against the wall. He was like, you like me, don't you? Nope, that's not how that happened. I'm gonna tell you how that happened, okay? So I was walking out of class. She was sitting in her desk. For some reason, she was sitting in the desk in the back of the class when her desk was actually in the front, but she was sitting in the back. So I was walking, and I know she was feeling me a little bit. So I went up to her and I whispered in her ear, you like me, don't you? And she was like, yeah. And then I just walked off. Oh, I'm so player. <laughs> I'm so player. Oh, that poor player. <laughs> then after that, you know, it was like, okay, yeah, she cute. And it went from there. You feel me? We got nine kids. That's how it happened, right? <laughs> there was a lot more in between all of that. <laughs> a lot more in between. Between the asking me if I thought he would, that I liked him to the night kid. There's a lot of story there. Okay, okay. So, let's see. So, are we still sticking with high school? I don't know where we're at right now. Yeah, we're in high school. We met in high school. You came to my house. I was, I don't know why I'm doing gentleman. <laughs> I really was a gentleman. I didn't do anything much. So, um, there was that. Uh, then... Something about prom, but, you know, we could skip over that. No, okay, let's get to prom. So, I grew up in a very strict Indian household. I wasn't allowed to date. I barely could go out. I would have to make up elaborate lies. And if you're Indian from back in the 90s, you already know what I mean, in order to get out the house. So, I had already worked out with my aunt that I would go to her house when he asked me to prom. Well, I had everything lined up because I was getting ready, you know, to try to go to prom with him. Well, that didn't happen as planned. So I went to school one day and there was, I forgot how I heard, but he had gone to prom with another girl. And I was like, wait, what? That wasn't, that wasn't it? Okay, look, this is what happened, okay? So my friend was dating a girl. And that girl, she was Indian too. She was Indian too. Um, so my friend was dating her. She liked me, but you know, we don't mess with the homies' friends, okay? But she had a sister. So they basically cornered me in the cafeteria. Um, her sister, all their friends cornered me. And they were like, you're taking her to prom. And I'm like, what? And everybody's like, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, look, I was a teenager, okay? How hard is it to say no? Look, okay. look, look. It was a bunch of, look. So long story short, <laughs> I took her to prom, okay? But listen, we went to prom, and as soon as the limo got in front of my house, I paid the limo driver to take her directly home. Shitty move, but at the same time. <laughs> Case in point, he still owes me a prom because I didn't go to one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she the it was his birthday. I think it was what 
the week, the, the Monday after prom or something like that. It was his birthday. So that was no, the it's day. like a month later. It was a month later? Yeah, it's a month later. Is that when I found out? About what? About prom? I don't know. It was a month later. Anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyways, so she had brought him cookies. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Those are my favorite cookies, though. My bad. Go ahead. Go <laughs> Forget ahead. them cookies. Go ahead. To this day. <laughs> I can't. I gotta Forget sneak and eat cookies. oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> to this day, I gotta sneak it. Go, my bad. This is your channel. Go ahead. I don't buy those cookies. Just saying. Anyway, so he had brought. She brought him cookies. I was like, "Where'd you get cookies from? Why do you have cookies?" Like, I don't understand. Explain. <laughs> so it was okay. Listen, everything just went black after that. I don't. It was really a birthday gift. So okay, look, the girl came to the theater class, waited. And then, no, 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 no. Yeah, she gave me the cookies before class. And then my best friend, I think I shared some with them. But long story short, it was weird because, yeah, it was my birthday. I got oatmeal raisin cookies. They, like, they were like gourmet. Never mind. They were cookies. White bag. Anyways. So I got the cookies. I'm eating them. Yeah, I know. But once again, I was young i was in high school you feel me it's like a girl gave me a gift for my birthday which happens to be oatmeal raisin cookies i'm gonna eat them so mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. she saw the cookies um now the thing is the girl came back to the class you know after so <laughs> i kind of left with her mm -hmm. um i don't remember why but you know she she got me the cookie so i had to i don't know i had to get i had to go walk with her to her next class did he though, did he though? She got me did he though? okay so i did that <laughs> later that day my homie came can up to me can you tell it's a sore subject later that day my homie came to me he's like bro Cora was crying during uh, uh lunch or, or some class that they he had he hurt together. my feelings come on now and i'm like yo for real and like it really like dawned on me like right then and there. It's like, damn. I don't and the reason it girl. hurt so bad was because he would write me notes talking about, oh, he wanted to be with me. He was gonna take me to Barbados, which still hasn't happened yet. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Huh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> So there was a lot of talk between them. Damn, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. There you just cut, and I would demonetize. You can just cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a lot of talk and letters between the oatmeal raisin cookies to me crying. So <laughs> I, that's why I was crying. I, I was, was actually listen, really. I was the dude. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like top dude in school okay so i had to come down from that can you understand being a teenager who is like everybody want to talk to you you talking to everybody but not really mess with nobody but you know that feeling football all of that no not everybody knows that feeling well look if you know <laughs> look 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 the dudes that know know you feel me even the women that know know you feel me? So, when I found out that she was crying over me, I was like, dang, I really don't want to lose this girl. So, went and found her. No. I think uh, we didn't make it official because you called me on the phone from the movie theater. Mm-hmm. That's when we were like, you want to be my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, stuff like that. But it's so long ago. I don't remember the conversation we had before that phone call. I don't remember. Yeah. It was. But I knew at that point in time that she was who I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. But, oh, no, no. Don't let her. Mm. <laughs> it's your channel. Go ahead and tell them. Tell them. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them. Okay. So. Mm hmm so yeah. another question that I get asked a lot is, how do you tell your parents 
about <laughs> the black man she's dating. So <laughs> I had gone out for my best friend at the time, her birthday. So we went to go out to eat and we went to the movies. And back then it was pay phones. I didn't have a cell phone. So I had called him up that night. It was probably around 11 o'clock at night. I was on the pay phone with him. My other friend was there. We were just talking. Let's see how important it is to you. What movie was it? Nottingham, Notting Hill. Okay. Something like that. I can't remember. Good job. I didn't watch a second. Good okay. job. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so we were talking. I don't remember the conversation. All I remember is him asking me to be his girlfriend. So that... Are you sure this is recording? I hope so. <laughs> if it's not recording. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so he had asked me to be his girlfriend, and I said yes. So then, maybe about two or three days later, I find out my dad is going to India. And he tells me, because it was summer break at this point, he tells me I'm going with him. That was not what I wanted to hear. So I'm going, I had all his notes in my closet, in my hamper, pretty much at the bottom. Rookie move. <laughs> Rookie move. So apparently my stepmom found them for whatever reason. She decided to do my laundry. I got caught that I had a black boyfriend and they were trying to ship me off to India. So my dad made a cover up story that we're going to go visit family, which we did. We ended up staying with my family, but I had to hold on to my passport because, you know, that wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to be left there. We stayed there for almost a month, I want to say two weeks to a month. I can't remember. No, the whole summer. I was there the whole summer? Yes. Well, if you did come back, I didn't see you until school started. Yeah, I wasn't really allowed to leave the house, and since there was no school, I had no real elaborate scheme in order to not be at home. So her best friend at the time, Shabana, shout out Shabana, uh, she used to keep me updated. Because all summer, man, I was just playing all kind of like slow jams, like, like uh, oh man, what was it, Brian McKnight, um boys to men it was a sad summer 112 <laughs> your boy was sick oh i was sick that's what he gets for those oatmeal raisin cookies okay okay <laughs> now remember i was sick i couldn't wait to see this girl go ahead okay so <laughs> the main point of me getting sent to india was for me to go to a cousin's wedding and show how we're supposed to marry in our culture and the same caste and religion and all of this other crap. And your cousin. And my cousin. Yeah, I, find, I found out that my dad wanted to marry me off to his sister's son. I'm like, ugh. ugh. Anyways, that didn't happen. I was like, uh-uh. I'd rather run away and not talk to any of you again if that's going to happen. That's just not me i know there's people out there that have done it but i can't do it so i get back from india and i pretty much avoid talking to him on the phone just because well one i can't because my stepmom's always home and i'm not allowed to talk to people <laughs> and we start school and at this point i'm like okay i gotta break up with him because my home life is just terrible because of it and i can't <laughs> deal with this so I tell my best friend at the time. Wait that... a minute. Hold on. Let me do this part. So <laughs> first day of school, I just came back from my first my first uh, um, summer of, you know, doing some modeling here and there. OK, um, I'm, as you can tell, I'm kind of cute. So I was even. No, I'm cuter now. But anyways, I was doing modeling over the summer. Um, I get back. And I see her friend, Shabana. So I'm like, yo, have you seen Cora? And she's like, yeah, but, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? She's like, she's going to break up with you, Dre. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, nah, 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 nah. So I go and find her. And the first thing I say, yo, you going to break up with me? I heard this from Shabana. And she's like, yeah. I just walked away after that. I could. I was, you boy was done. It, 
imagine waiting all summer listening to the saddest of R&B all summer. You understand me? I see my baby and she breaks up with me. Oh, 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 go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You see how she was putting oh, the oatmeal raisin cookies. You want to say it or you want me to say it? What? <laughs> what happened a week or two weeks later? I'm walking in the hallway. Okay. I'm still distraught. I ain't talking to nobody. Still distraught. She's walking in the hallway with a dude. I'm like, wait, what? Ain't no way. Come to find out she got a boyfriend. <laughs> he was in here. <laughs> got a boyfriend. I was like, maybe this makes it better, but yeah, it makes it better. Oh, nah, nah. You ain't gonna skip over it. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. How, how, how'd you meet your boyfriend? I don't even remember. <laughs> he was just in the same little clique. I don't remember. So you know what your boy did? I went and got me a... What you going to get? I can't because here's the thing. <laughs> I started dating her friend. Who she did ask me for permission to date him. And I was like, okay, maybe that well, would help. Well, okay. I don't think that made it any better because she was... I skipped a couple of parts. Because the first day I got back, there was... Okay, so her friend had her own clique. There was... Um, I think it was Sahar. A, a, a different Shabana. And then there was your friend. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say her name like that. Because you were... Look, I know you're going to watch this. You're cool as heck. Okay? So... You're just part of the story. <laughs> you're, you're, you're an integral part of the story. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's a nice girl. Woman now. Woman. She's a nice woman. Um, so I was, I, I kind of threw myself into that little group. You know, I walked back to school. Friends from her group. Her name sounds like our daughter's name. Walks up to me. She's like, Oh man, Cora was talking about you. You are cute. I'm like, you, you effing right. I'm cute. What's she say about me? <laughs> and you know, I got you know the, the girl here, a girl there, and I'm chilling. You know, okay. So here's the cafeteria. The cafeteria is right here, and then right outside the cafeteria, you know, there's like where the buses are. You know, where the buses drop everyone off. So I'm chilling out there with these girls then her friend comes up to me and she's like hi i'm so and so you're andre i'm like yeah i'm andre a now, lot of the the daisy community which is, consists of the indians and the bengalis and the different varieties of of south asians are called Desis. And so pretty much majority of the Desis in our school knew him because of me. They knew me because I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, understand this. Please understand. Can you see what I do? Please man? understand. I'm a bad mofo, you understand? <laughs> Woo! Look, 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 okay? Yeah. So she comes up to me, she's like, you're Andre. I'm such and such. Here's my number. I'm like, whatever. Uh, then within a week, we started dating. Her homie, too. Her homie was trying to date me. Sahar. That was a nice girl, too. Man, <laughs> I feel... Dang. I feel horrible. Anyways... <laughs> So I started dating uh, her friend, but I had to rub it in. So one day they were all sitting at their little clicky table. I come, you know, I walk in from the cool side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, look, in your group, you're cool, but there's, there's levels to this, okay? <laughs> so I come down from my level. I walk up to their table. I, I look at her. Then I look at her friend. And I'm like, hey, I need to talk to you. You feel me? 
So then she's like, bam, she hops up. We go out there. I don't even remember what the heck I said, but long story short, we started dating. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So that went on for what? Three months? It went on from August to like maybe, I think, December. Maybe January. No, February. Um, I don't remember. But the whole no, time, February, the yeah. whole time we were dating, there was always this, you like Cora, you're going to get back with Cora. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not. I can't stand that girl. You know what she did to me? Stuff like that. But every night I went to sleep thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> every night. Long story short, um, she ends up breaking up or her, who, I don't know how they broke up. They had the audacity. Dassy to kiss in front of me at the bowling alley. So I had to kiss my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. So the reason I broke up with my dude at the time is I was getting sent to Utah. 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 Was it Utah the first time? It was Utah, yeah. And the second time? And the second time. <laughs> so I was getting sent to Utah, I guess. My... I guess my dad got sick of me. <laughs> and I got sick of him, so... I got sent off to Utah to live with my mom. My parents are divorced. So I guess they threw me a little going away, get together at the bowling alley. And he was there. I was there. And then he broke up at that point. And I was You broke up at the bowling alley? Right after, yeah. Mm -hmm. After. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't after that? Because where'd y'all go after uh, y'all dropped me off home? We went up to IHOP. And? Bought it, and then I dropped my other friend home. Okay, so I wasn't kissing in the car. I mean, we were teenagers. <laughs> but cookies. You understand me? Cookies. Go ahead. Prom, okay? Nah, 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 nah. Cookies. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And this dude had the audacity to so say he could wrestle me. Tell me why the second he starts wrestling me, I had him up here. He's like 6'4", right? I'm like 5'11", but the second, like, he was so light. Wait, that has nothing to do with anything. He tried to prove himself against me. Bro, I've been, I've been in football since I was 13. I've been lifting weights since I was 13. I've been pushing and, and, and fighting athletes. <laughs> and you're going to try to wrestle me, bro? Oh, here's the thing. In the field house. We had these little, like, uh, um, during lunch, right after lunch, I mean, we had, like, little semi-wrestling tournaments. And I'm not talking about Olympic wrestling. We literally, like, WCW wrestled, <laughs> like, on the mats in there. Not WCW. At the time, it was WWF. And just so you know, I was the European champion. I'm on the, hey, undefeated. Oh, my bad. What were we talking about? <laughs> oh yeah had that boy up here like boy get out of here oh go ahead you're talking about your man go ahead yeah so i got sent to utah and then i think maybe a month or two later i couldn't do it anymore because my stepdad was yeah that's a whole nother story there anyways i just i came back and then i don't know what happened you were still dating your girl yeah you came back and then you left again yeah and then you came back yeah. No, no, no. The second time you left, you were with me. Yeah, second so time I left, I was with you. You left, came back. My girl went to Cali. Mm -hmm. And then you started dating uh, another Indian dude. The, okay. Okay, look, he was a really good really, guy. Really, really good guy. Except for this one time when he tried to press me. He's, look, look, he's like this tall. I'm like this, <laughs> this tall, right? And the crazy thing is, okay, you remember the, the girl that I took to prom? So her sister, this guy had a crush on her and I guess had a crush on her because y'all were boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever. We were friends for uh, yeah. a whole so, year. Yeah. Y'all dated for what, a day? <laughs> Two days? Three days? It wasn't very long. Okay. Look. <laughs> Does count? Look, here's the thing. I finally got my car. You know, I had a 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse. I'm doing my thing. I went to the gym the night before. Went home. Went to sleep. Woke up in the morning to a knock at my door. Inside my house to my room door. 
Okay, his brother loved me, sister loved me, dad loved me. Like, yeah. his whole entire family loved me. His sister did nothing but talk me up and, well, she adored me at that point. So I could get in the house with no issue. <laughs> yeah. So I hear a knock on my door. I'm thinking it's my little brother or my older sister. I open the door and it's her. So what brought us to that point was I had borrowed the car from my dad to go to school, which I do occasionally. So I took the car, I'm listening to the radio, and a song came on, which was Back at One by Brian McKnight. I'm like, I'm like all in my feels. Like, I miss this man. I don't know why. I think I love him. He is the person for me for whatever reason, I thought. And I'm like, okay. If nothing happens, I got to tell him that I love him and that I would like to be with him, right? So I drove over to his neighborhood. So I was skipping school at this point. So I drove over to his neighborhood. Yeah, and she's a nerd. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, nerd. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. My mm -hmm. bad. I, go ahead. <laughs> so I see his little brother outside. I'm like, where is your brother? He's like, oh, he's uh, you know, in the house in his room. I'm like, okay, can I go in? He's like, yeah. So he's like, just go right in and go in the house. I said, okay. So I went in his house, knocked on his door. And he opened the door. <laughs> I just woke up. Fellas, you know, when you just wake up in the morning, there's a certain form of rigor mortis. <laughs> okay? So I open the door. Here she is. I'm like, bet. <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation. So I pretty much told him I love him. I care for him. Bet. <laughs> went home. Bet. <laughs> I went home. That was a Friday. Yeah, she went home. <laughs> Bet. So yeah, we had a nice and home conversation, and I sent her off home. You know, let her think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's nothing to talk about. We had a conversation. We spoke, yeah. Long mm -hmm. conversation. Long conversation. Okay, but it, but yeah, after that. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know what happened that weekend. Wait, wait, him. wait, wait. Technically, I was still with the really nice girl. No, I was still with him, point blank. And she was still with the really nice. <laughs> You know who you are. You're a cool dude, man. So Sorry. she was still with him. So, yeah. Um, so I want to say the following Monday, mm -hmm. you know, I drive up to the school. I'm not supposed to be at the school. I drive up to the school. <laughs> I see her walking. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm not laughing, dude. I'm sorry. So I see her walking with him. And, you know, um, he goes to his class. And then I start walking with her. And did I buy the thing? Yeah, you bought a chain for me. No, it wasn't a chain. So there's this, you know, you know, when you walk in the uh, mall. Back they, in the day. They have like this kiosk that make like little rice initial necklaces. So, you know, I was, I bought, I bought some. I went to school. I'm like, look. I love you. I like you. So we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. What? I'm like, look, but you're not going to break my heart like you did before, okay? And I'm like, you promise? And she promised. And then, been together ever since. So that was February 14th. It was, it was so cliche. It was like Valentine's Day. Like 2000. <laughs> that's just how it is right <laughs> yeah that's just how it is so so our original date that we got together was june 2nd 1999 yes and then we got back together february 14 2000 mm -hmm. so there we you... broke up what was it august 14th 17th whatever the first day of school was that year <laughs> I'm gonna... well my bad i'm not gonna get demonetized but yeah, yeah, so that's basically it. That's how we met. Uh, our next videos, I guess we'll 
answer some more questions for you guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a lot, um, some, you know, some family content. Show you a, a day in the life of a, a, you know, what we go through. It's mostly attitudes. We're not around here just doing, <laughs> you know, reels all day. It's, it's dealing with multiple, multiple personalities. We have <laughs> multiple personalities. Our oldest is like it goes from like brooding <laughs> Batman, right? To like a bubbly anime characters, like the. Then we got our pretend YouTuber, who all he does is talk in YouTube. Oh, you mean Taj? <laughs> Taj yeah. and Cairo. Yeah, he Taj was literally raised by YouTube, which is horrible. <laughs> Not horrible. He's also raised by his brothers, who also do the same thing. Yeah, they all talk like Corey Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the Samurai Lord. But yeah, all right, guys. So. Oh, wait, this is your channel, so you go ahead and... All right, well, thank you for getting to know our story a little bit. There's a lot more to it, but we try to wrap it up. We don't want to make this video too long. As possible. <laughs> so now we're going to, you know, we're going to put this up there. Thank you so much for subscribing to her channel. Thank you. We really appreciate it. So check it out. Also, if you can go and follow me, <laughs> follow me on Instagram, I would love it. I have so much good content. I put out content like daily. I'm oh. me. I don't put out as put out the content. Oh, as now she's the super cool one. Me, I'm like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Somebody, please look at me. Subscribe, follow me, please. <laughs> look, I am parenting most of the day, not only to the children but to this one. So you know, my life's a little hectic. <laughs> But, hey, she keeps everything together. Guys, once again, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. We're going to try to do videos maybe, what, once, twice a week? Yeah. Eventually, as we get more comfortable doing this, there'll be more videos. But, you know, it's still a learning curve on our end. All right. Well, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, no, <laughs> I want to go. A piece. A piece. <laughs> okay. Bye. The, the chances of Sunny actually watching.